In today's video, I'm going to build a DWC Fogponic Propagation Station. So let's get started. So as we know, the key to any DWC or deep water culture setup is going to be a tank to house your water and your nutrients with an air stone in the bottom and then your roots on top suspended in the water. I'm going to do just that, but in between the roots and the water, I'm also going to have a layer of fog that's going to be coming off of the water. This kit is actually super sweet. It comes with three extra ceramic tiles, obviously the fogger, which is pretty large, and it comes with a floater with a dome on top for like 18, 19 bucks. All right, and here is my fogger, all adorned in his regalia of peripheral. You know, I guess one thing I didn't really think about was my nutrients are pretty gnarly dark. I think I'm going to have to get some lighter nutrients to make this look prettier. Yeah. Okay, and now for the question that literally nobody's been asking. What is going in the garden? I have a couple beautiful spring onions that I've been propagating since I cut them and had them in some mashed potatoes last week. So these are gonna go in there, but really, the coup de gras, the elephant garlic. I've been propagating a clove. Yes, this is one clove of elephant garlic in hopes that I can grow my own giant cloves of elephant garlic. I don't know, we'll see. That's, this is all an experiment. So we're gonna plant this in the garden and see what happens. Uh, so yeah, you better mash that subscribe button because that's elephant garlic being propagated. Got the water changed out so it doesn't look like nasty doo-doo water anymore. I use the nutrients for the tower garden, which are clear, and I think it looks great. Oh, and let me turn the lights off so I can show you guys my neons because this is Fast and the Furious, not a gardening channel, right? So I got voice activated neons that <laughs> the fog really catches and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I can actually do like a solid color if I wanted to do like green or blue or something. You know, it's, it's a gardening channel, so we'll go green for today. Um, there are a few things I already think I want to do to it. I know I'm going to collect algae super fast, so I've been thinking about adding more water and then uh, a couple fish, a couple algae eaters to take care of that. And then I would remove the nutrients and just make it an aquaponic setup. I've done this before, so I do have some experience with that. And I think it'd be really cool to have some, some fish swimming around back here too. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out in future videos in the background for these plants growing and small changes that I might make to this. Uh, I hope this video maybe inspires you to make a little propagation station of your own, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.